guys, time to get for another Willie's Ramblings and Pickup video. Now we're getting close to the holiday season. Christmas is coming, it's just around the corner. I plan on doing a special Christmas episode. Uh, I participated in the Atari I.O. Uh, Secret Santa. And I got like three different presents over there that are still wrapped. I'm going to wait until Christmas Day to unwrap them on video. To show what I got as my uh, Secret Santa gift. I'm also going to open up a present that my wife gave me as well. So I think it'd be kind of fun to do. Uh, something to do on Christmas Day. Now, let's see. What have I been doing? Oh, I've been doing a lot of traveling. A lot of traveling. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time over in Alcoa, Tennessee. So, of course, I've been hanging out at my buddy's store, Retro Artifacts, when I have time after I get done doing my day job stuff. Having a good time out there. But let's get to uh, the pickups I have. Now the first thing I want to show is this was a donation to the uh, channel, to Arcade USA, and I really appreciate this a lot. I was donated a Telstar Arcade System. This was sent to me by my buddy Rob Alvey that does the ColecoVision Fan Facebook page, which I'll put a link in the show notes below if you want to go check it out. It's a really neat uh, fan page, all about Coleco, ColecoVision. He posts a lot of cool videos on there. Uh, a lot of neat stuff. I've won one of these since I remember first seeing them in the Montgomery Ward catalog back in the uh, back in the day, and now I finally got one. Awesome! All I had to do to, to get it to work was just to adjust the RF tuner. Everything was working. Here's sounds and all that good stuff, but there was no picture on the screen, so I took it apart, got a little Allen wrench, and I turned the uh, RF tuner. To tune it into my TV worked perfectly fine after that. So, came with cartridge number one, which has road race, tennis, and quick draw. So, I'll probably keep an eye out for the other three cartridges and see about picking those up sometime in the in the future. They'll be kind of hard to get. Anyway, moving on. I finally did the McQuill VGA mod to my Atari Lynx 2. Now, this isn't my Atari Lynx 2. This was given to me by my buddy Arcade. I do the Toy Tune podcast. It had a bad screen, like half the pixels were gone. I took it apart and tried to fix it. A lot of times what happens is either the flex circuit that goes to this board gets cracks in it, or the little solder connections start to go bad on the flex circuit to the screen. And I was not able to get it to, get it to work because I, I found a lot of cracks in that ribbon cable. So I ordered the McWill VGA kit and put the new screen in it and man is it awesome so I'm pretty happy with this now I always I love the links it's a, it's a great a great uh, little handheld console oh as a matter of fact I think in February 2018 a new podcast will be out talking about the Atari links I can't remember the name I should have wrote it down but here's a picture of the artwork for the podcast I think it's gonna be the Handycast Really looking forward to listening to that podcast because I absolutely love the Atari Lynx. As you can see, I got where to go. Got one there. There's one over there. Got a few games for it. Pretty awesome. Also, uh, on my way home from Alcoa, Tennessee, I stopped at a flea market mall, which is like a whole bunch of different uh, booths under one roof. It's like eighty-four thousand square feet. It's a huge place, and I came across. A Coleco Pac-Man Tabletop Arcade. Now I've already got one. It's sitting up there on the shelf. But I couldn't pass this up for 20 bucks. And it works. has the battery compartment. This needs a little work on done. The decals are a little faded, a little peeling. Uh, I may end up giving this away as a prize on Arcade USA. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this. But just keep tuned to the Facebook page and you'll see what I'm going to do with that little bad boy. My buddy at Retro Artifacts, he gave me a classic baseball from Mattel. This is the re-release. It's not the original. And I do have the original one right over there. So I'll probably make a video uh, sharing memories of the original baseball that I have. And I'll do like a little comparison to see how it, how it compares to this re-release. You know, like sounds and, and gameplay and stuff like that. So now I need to find the re-release of the Football 2. Because I love the Football 2 game. It's so awesome. Let's see, what else? Oh, you guys already seen videos on these, but I got the new Bridge Direct 
mini arcades, you know, Joust and Rampage. Uh, I don't know why I like collecting these. I just do. I just love all things arcade. And these just, these are right up my alley. I love those things. Looking forward to Defender when it comes out. I'm really hoping they do a Galaga, maybe a Galaxian. That'd be kind of cool. A, oh, oh, a Phoenix. Oh, it'd be great to have a little Phoenix with a full color screen. That'd be kind of cool. Also, my buddy at Retro Artifacts, he gave me this Radio Shack Pocket Repeat. So I'll do a Toy Tune video on this sometime in the near future, talking about this. It's basically like Simon or Touch Me for the Atari. It's just Radio Shack's take on it. Uh, since Radio Shack's out of business, I think it's kind of cool to get a hold of some of their old toys they used to make. I used to spend hours upon hours looking at the Radio Shack catalogs that came in the mail, especially the ones that came in around Christmas, because they had all the cool remote control toys in there and electronic games. They had some really cool stuff back then. I kind of missed that, so looking forward to making a video about this. At that same flea market I talked about where I found the Clico Pac-Man, I also found a complete box in television pole position. Oh, yeah. Now, I like the arcade game pole position. It plays fairly well on the television, but boy, I can't, I can't play it worth a darn. So I'm pretty happy to add this to my television collection, which I really don't collect cartridges for the Intellivision. I, mean, I got too much stuff up here. I, I don't, I'm running out of room. But I figure at least I could pick up arcade ports. As you can see, I've been doing that for the 2600. I'm collecting arcade ports for the 2600 for the Atari Cade video series. I only picked up my all-time favorite 26 games here for the other video series I'm doing. And that's all I plan on picking up. I'll just pick up some more arcade ports, and that's probably pretty much it. Uh, there's, there's very few games I want to pick up on the 2600 that I, just, I can play on my Harmony card, so I don't really need to have the box and everything. Let's see, what else? Oh, I was able to get a hold of the Free Play Florida 2017 exclusive Atari 2600 game, you know, Pinball. Free Play Florida, Florida Pinball. I've already made a video about this. A lot of you have already seen it, most likely. But I just want to talk about it real quick. Uh, I need to get down to this event. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Uh, was, my bud Rob Alvey was down there. Albert Garusso was down there as well from Atari Age. I really like that they did this custom game for the show. And it's actually a lot of fun to play. I love virtual pinball games anyway. Uh, it's basically a hack of mid, uh, David's Midnight Magic, but I don't care. It's cool. Especially with the little Pac-Man uh, stuff on there. So I really enjoy this. Also got a hold of the layout for the show as well. So I'm pretty happy that Rob sent me that. Found some more Atari 2600 uh, games for the arcade collection to make more videos on. Uh, these came from my bud store in uh, Maryville, Tennessee called The Looney Bin. Really nice guy runs this store. I picked up a Donkey Kong Jr. Awesome, in the box, in the box. I also picked up Canyon Bomber. Love this game in the arcade. Really like it on the Atari 2600. And I picked up Kangaroo, which I have mixed feelings about. I'll talk about it when I get to this one on the uh, Atari K2600 video series. And lastly, but not leastly, at a flea market, I found this, what is this? The Intellivision video game system. It's got the two-player plug-and-play. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's got pinball on it. Uh... Space Armada, Football, Astro Smash, Night Stalker, some other uh, you know classic television games, but I think it's kind of cool they have this two-player version here. I've never seen this before, so I decided to pick it up, and I'll do a an unboxing and I'll do a little review on it. I'll probably get my wife to play some of the two-player games and uh, have some fun doing that. So that's pretty much it. So anyway. To all my retro peeps out there, keep on retro gaming.